Hello and welcome back to Big Bad Bard Plays Enter the Gungeon. Um, so we've got a little bit of money to play around with. Let's see. Um, actually, I let's visit Ox and Cadence. See what they've got. I want to clear their shop out first. Because they've got some really good stuff to play with. Uh, mass shotgun's good. Bullet bore's good. Black hole gun. Actually, it, it kind of sucks we're just short on either of those. But let's get this and I guess that's it. And, uh, actually, we could do, like, a little Blessed Run. We still need to beat this. So let's do this. I, I, I realize I still haven't done a challenge run. Um, they're hard. That's it. I'm just avoiding it because it's hard. I'll get to it eventually. I figure if I can't even beat this, the Blessed Run, how am I going to beat the challenge run just yet? Oh, hi, buddy. Okay. I would really like to switch away from the starter pistol, just whenever they're ready. That'd be cool. Oh, there we go. Hello. What is that, like the pulse cannon, I think? It's pretty good. I will take it. Yeah, I'm digging that. <clears throat> it's getting some work done. Uh-oh, I got a grumpy puppy in the room. Someone's mad. Trident's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, so we are playing as a convict. We got the Molotov, which means, of course, the first couple of bosses we fight, we're not going to be able to use it against. So just my prediction, um, we're going to fight the Bullet King on this floor, and then we're gonna fight the uh, core gun on the next floor, and then uh, what's a third floor boss that can't get hit by it? Cannonball Rog? I think Cannonball Rog. Probably gonna fight him on the third floor. <laughs> I'm sure there's a fourth floor boss that's not affected by it too. Um, I know Kill Pillars is. And I'm pretty sure Wallmonger is, but just for the moment that it's passing through the fire. So maybe we'll get some usefulness out of it, you know, by the fourth floor. <laughs> uh, we've got the shop with a key in it, so let's actually run back here and grab this key. I think I'm going to skip over the oubliette on this run, and uh, since we're skipping the oubliette, obviously we're going to skip the abbey. Oh, here we go. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I was real excited for a second. Oh, cool, we got the mass shotgun. We just got it. Oh, yeah. Blessed run. We don't get to play with it. Um, let's let's try the golden gun out. See how long it'll last us here. Uh, trying to use the Gatlin gold to clear out the shrubbery. Oh, okay. We just lost the golden gun. But we got the, I think this is the cold 45. It's definitely a cold weapon. Oh, apparently that hit me. Okay. Well, so I was wrong about a couple... Hey, there's the mass shotgun. <clears throat> I was wrong about our boss fight. Uh, still didn't get the flawless. I, I really have no reason for not getting the flawless there. That's just a shame. Two keys. Hello. Uh, the gun doesn't matter at all to us. Let's... What do I want to do? We need to find the other chest on this floor. It's going to have our passive item. Or, I guess, active. Um, but we definitely want to get that. It's going to be way more valuable to us than finding a gun chest. Or, I guess, finding a gun in a chest. Rolling in keys. I feel like the game never does this to me. Hey. I feel like the only time the game does this to me where they give me a ton of keys is when I have no use for keys. So are they just going to give me mimics? Because I'm also kind of okay with that. We need to still kill a couple of them for, uh, for what's his name, Frifle and Mouser. <clears throat> so if they want to throw some mimics at me, I'm good with that too. Brown chest, eh. eh at least it's the scope. 
That's pretty decent. Uh, also, I guess we'd never checked the walls in the first item room for a secret room. So maybe we should do that. <clears throat> With all these keys, like, it's really tempting to go down to the oubliette. But I... I don't know. I think I'm just gonna pass on this one. There we go. That, that makes it a lot easier when they blow up the water barrel for me. <clears throat> that really takes some of the uh, stress out of the decision. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to work even. If that would, if the first bounce would show it. I don't know. Uh, I guess I could check the elevator room up here first. And then try the shop. Because the elevator room can have it. I'll be real honest, I was not 100% sure that my grenade wasn't going to blow up in my face and hurt me. Hey, hello. Couple blanks that are not actually useful to us right now. Because <laughs> they're just going to be replenished on the next floor. And a gun that is... Oddly enough, the gun that it gave us? That's... That never happens. That's weird. I was expecting it to, you know, it was the lowercase r when it was on the floor, but then when you pick it up, normally it just changes to something random. Nope, actually gave us the, the lowercase r. That's kind of cool. Neat. Okay. On to chamber the second. So, with, uh, <clears throat> with these blessed runs, uh, y you need to beat the run to unlock whatever your thing is. The unlock, right? Um, the thing is, you don't need to kill the lich. All we have to do, we just have to get to the forge and kill the high dragon. That's, that's our mission right now. Uh, we don't need to... We don't even need to worry about bullet hell. Realistically, bullet hell is gonna kill the shit out of me anyways. With the exception of, like, those first couple of bullet hell runs, or, like, maybe not the first couple, but there were a couple of runs early on where I just killed the lich, like, two or three times in a row. Or at least made it to him a couple times in a row. Uh, those haven't happened in a minute. <laughs> Oh, the metronome. I have no idea how this is going to work. So what the metronome does, uh, I don't remember if we've gotten it before or not. Improves equipped gun on each sequential kill. Taking damage or changing guns will reduce the bonus back to zero. So basically, as long as you never change guns, the gun you're using gets stronger and stronger. So something like, uh, something with infinite ammo, like your starting pistol, you can actually soup it up to... I. I don't remember exactly what the um, what the numbers are, but you can get it to do considerable amount more damage than normal. Oh, I think you can just dodge roll across that gap. Yeah, you don't have to mess with the fire platform. Um. Okay, so yeah, it makes that noise. So we'll see. That's the noise it makes when you get a kill and the damage bonus goes up. And normally when it changes, or when you change a gun, it makes another noise. Oh no, it's actually working. Oh, this is amazing. Or potentially amazing. As long as we don't get hit then, that means our damage bonus is just going to keep going up. Hello. This is busted. This is so broken. As long as I don't get hit, this is incredibly strong. And I'm happy with this. Oh, that's great. This game just got... Like, this this blessed run just got a, a little bit easier. Uh, Armor of Thorns might not be terrible, but I really don't see myself dodge rolling into people to, to deal damage. Um, the key also seems a little unnecessary. We've got two of them just sitting on the floor out here already. 
Yeah, uh, so I don't think we're actually going to need anything from the shop. Let's just move along. Just keep going. What do we got over here? Oh, just some more stacks for our metronome? Yeah, that's what I thought. Somehow, not able to hit the explosive barrel right behind that dude. Okay. Yeah, yes, yes, give me the little bullet bats, please. Just stack those dudes up. Oh, man. So, yeah, we're definitely going to hit, like, the max damage bonus off of this metronome pretty quickly, I think. I think it's something like 75 kills. Okay, so let's get this hegemony carbine. We know this is, uh... Oh, I guess I should have known, because we got the metronome on this floor as well. Um, that's fine, I guess. We got Smiley's revolver right now, which does give you a... Oh, what I'm, what's the word I'm looking for? It gives you a discount when you buy stuff from the shop. Um, but unfortunately, there's nothing really in the shop that we want. But to give you an idea, uh... This was 54 a minute ago, now it's 46. <clears throat> so, it's a pretty good discount. It's not bad. It's like 15%, I think. Uh, let's just run up here real quick and check the walls. No. No. Alright, let's just clear this out before we fight the boss. Probably just have a couple more rooms. Oh, God. What the hell was that nonsense? Oh, I actually really like this gun. It's the, uh... It shoots out pots, and then the pots break apart. And little shards of... I don't know why they turn blue. Uh, but little shards of, I guess, blue ceramic, or maybe it's supposed to be glass. Start flying around. Oh, man. Look at all this money. I don't understand where that's coming from. Uh, airstrike is... Okay. Eh, blank for armor. It's a okay trade. Um, airstrike, I guess it's better than the Molotov. You can use it on more enemies. It's a more versatile active item. So we can try using that. Like, I'm pretty sure the Molotov just does not work here. Um, airstrike does, and actually did an okay amount of damage. Can't really complain about that. Uh, this is bullshit, though. <laughs> the fact that her poison was blocking the safe path through there. I'm not happy with that. Uh, Stinger, though, that's cool. Yeah, give me that for the rest of this fight, please. Let me shoot off more than just two bullets with it. Yeah, this sucks. Not having poison immunity can really suck sometimes. Alright, we're almost done with this, though. There we go. Easy fight. And we got... What is that bullet modifier? Is that frost bullets? Sure is. So now we've got that effect on all of our guns. That's cool. I'm actually a fan of the ice weapons. You know, especially on bosses, it's really helpful to slow them down, slow their attacks down makes it easier to dodge around, get between those shots, and stay safe. Um, yeah, I'm just going to blow that dude up straight away. And yeah, since we got the metronome, we have not been hit yet. We're still just racking up that huge damage bonus. Uh, I need those bullets to go away. Thank you. Uh, I hate these guys. Ooh, and the sniper rifle just taking dudes out. Okay. I really do enjoy this gun mode. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. <clears throat> you never know what guns you're going to end up with, and as long as you don't get screwed over on a boss fight, with, like the pea shooter or the clob or something, it's a lot of fun. Like, I don't mind if I have to clear a room with the pea shooter or something. That's just a gunsling king challenge right there. That's all that is to me. Uh, but fighting a boss? No thank you. Oh, we got the cannon. 
love that. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, this is probably one of the easier Blessed runs I've ever done. Uh, and I gotta say, the metronome is probably the reason for it. Uh, that trash can and bullet was huge. Also, what did I take damage from there? I'm not really sure. Uh, cigarettes? No, we can't, we can't do that. I don't think that's a good idea. I, I, yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. Not unless we got something like, oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure there's something that would make it work. Uh, this is our first item room, so we don't know what it is yet. It is poison vial. Um, pass. Poison has already messed me up a little bit. Uh, blank for a key, I guess, is okay. Um, yeah, oh, I just realized if we took damage, that means that we lost our, um, we lost our bonus from Metronome. We're gonna have to stack that back up now. Thanks, Trash Cannon, for poisoning me a little bit. I'm pretty sure that's what I got hit with. Oh, God. So, it was definitely Trash Cannon's fault that time, for sure. <clears throat> Anytime they want to switch us out of this gun, though, I'm more than ready. Okay, cool. Uh, I think this is the elephant gun, which is only disappointing because it doesn't shoot out elephants. Like, some of the other stuff in this game is quite literal in that sense, but for some reason this gun, they just didn't... Maybe they didn't have the balls to do it? I don't know. They were like, no, no one's going to understand. Why, why would an elephant gun shoot out elephants? Like, why would a bullet shoot out guns that shoot out bullets? If you're going to be goofy in one regard, go all the way. Okay. Yeah, my suspension of disbelief is definitely in effect when it comes to this game. <laughs> so if they want to do something goofy like elephant gun that shoots elephants, I'm good for it. I mean, there's like a compressed air tank that shoots out sharks. Why couldn't they do an elephant gun? Well, at least properly. Besides, I feel like having an elephant gun like a real-life elephant gun promotes shooting elephants. Fuck that. No. It's not okay. Elephants are our friends. And they should be taken care of, not shot to pieces. Okay. I hate the little bomber. I really do. Just takes way too long to charge up. Okay. Oh, this is the, uh... Gungeon. Oh, well, that was the Gungeon. For all of two seconds. Come on, magic chicken gun. Give me that damage bonus stack back up. Oh, this is the crescent bow. Uh, so we already know what is going to be in our other chest. It's going to be the uh, gun. That worked out kind of nicely. Yeah. Airstrike, I'm feeling, was uh, definitely the right choice over the Molotov. This dude needs to slow his roll a little bit, though. Cool off. Yeah. Give me something with some damage to it. Oh, here we go. Heroin, actually. It's actually, I guess, exactly what I asked for there. I love the... Uh, the tracking of the laser sight there. Because that's just the game kind of tracking that enemy for me. And 2 HP as a reward. Hello. Yes, please. So that actually kind of makes 
cigarettes not a terrible idea. Uh, especially because there's quite a bit of help on the floor. Huh. I think I'm going to do it. Let me just see how much more health we have on the floor. I'm going to come over here, clear out this room. Uh, if there's a chest, I think we'll break it and try to get some more HP that way. Because then we could end up with actually a really good bonus from the cigarettes. Without uh, too much of a risk of dying. Uh, this room looks horrible. Eh, it's actually not that bad. Okay. I thought there were more rollers than that. <clears throat> Did we already find the secret room? No? Yes? No? Yes, it was right there. Um, alright, so let's just break this open. Nothing for us there. Is there health in the shop? If there is, I'm definitely... Oh, there's so much health in the shop. Okay. I'm probably gonna cause us to sacrifice the damage bonus from metronome doing this, but I think it's still a good idea. Yeah, we lost the metronome bonus. Okay, so there's one and a half in the shop, and I think another whole one container on the floor, so that'll put us back at full health. But what if we don't want to be at full health? Let's just go a little bit deeper. We're just chain smoking here. Okay. One more. All right. Okay. It's the last one, I swear. Last cigarette ever, I swear. That was the last one. No. No, that was the last one, I swear. <laughs> it's addictive. What can I say? Don't smoke, kids. Don't do drugs. Stay in school. Trying to... Eh, fuck it. Who am I? A role model? Nah. I'm like iced tea. Just less gangster and white. I'm not even sure if Ice-T was the one that said he's not a role model. Now that I think about it, I think it was Ice-Cube. Oh god. Okay. In fact, now that I think about it, I'm really sure it was Ice-Cube. What's up? Ice Cube, yeah. Got confirmation. It's definitely Ice Cube. Because Ice T's not even in NWA. No. But, you know what they say Wu Tang is for the kids. Oh. Oh god, I didn't even see the ice blocks for a second there. Oh, or the. That's an asshole move putting the floor traps in there? The hell? Some rude shit. Like, I haven't been in this room before. I definitely have, and I've fallen for that floor trap trick about a dozen times. Oh, I love that. Anything that makes all, like, anything that affects all of your guns is super good in this mode. Because that's all you need is, it, the game gives you guns. That's all it does for you on this. Oh, I thought I had it. I thought if I just ran, I could make it, maybe. So, with those cigarettes, I'm expecting to get a lot of drops after we clear rooms. Like, not every room, but maybe almost every room. Because we took that pretty deep. Uh, phrasing, I guess. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the ice bullets are doing work for us. So yeah, like I said, anything that affects all of your weapons, super good in this mode. We're getting ice bullets on every, or potentially on every shot. Everything's reloading faster. We've got this shitty gun that, thank you Celeste for actually doing the math on it and, it, you know, really proving how shitty it is for us. <laughs> As it passes through an enemy. It deals as much damage as if you tried to dodge roll into that enemy. So, like, the only thing it's going to kill in one hit, uh, at least on the on the piercing shot, is, um, like, the little tiny blobs or the little bullet bats. Like, that's it. And those are dudes we're better off just dodge rolling through anyways. 
Yeah. Okay. This is actually a lot better. But who do we have in here? Oh, hello, map friend. I swear, this guy's got to be done with... Like, we've got to be close to mapping out all five of the floors for that guy by now. We see him all the time. And I rarely ever ignore him. Okay, so this... Um, oh, that's actually not the shrine I thought it was. I thought that was the... Oh, I wouldn't be able to do it anyways. I was thinking it was the one where, um... Uh, you lay down a weapon and get healed. But then I realized, even if it was that one, we couldn't do it, because we don't have any weapons to throw down. Uh, I'm not really sure how to use this. Okay. Luckily, we don't have to for long. Uh, the particulator I know how to use. You just let loose with some shots. And it does all the work for you. Easy peasy. Oh, we got the genie. Hello. Yeah, knock him out, genie. Uh, no? No? That was... <clears throat> that was some bullshit, I think. One of the coolest things I've gotten was, like, the magic lamp with, uh... I think Helix Bullets and Double Vision. So I was shooting out like four genies at once. Uh, so basically every shot was... Spawn or I guess I was shooting out four shots at once. So every sh uh, time I hit an enemy with it, pretty much every time genie was popping out, uppercutting that fool. Uh, or if there were a lot of enemies in the room. <clears throat> you know, you just hit like two or three of them with... Uh, with each trigger pull. It's pretty cool. Oh, the blooper. I was like, what is that noise? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, we got a... Someone over here summoning dudes? No, you gotta stop that shit. Okay. Um, looks like we're actually heading back over towards this item room that I don't care about, because we already got our passive. Ooh. I'm real gun-shy around these guys now, hot gun-shy. Um. Damn. What the hell? This is not okay. <laughs> That's... <laughs> that was bad. Okay, so maybe I went a little too hard with the cigarettes, and I should have... Uh... I should have not almost killed us. Um, because I, I kind of wish I had that extra HP now. Do we have the shop yet? No, of course not. And of course that's a map man and not, uh, fairy and bottle people. The doctors. Oh, that's cool. Um, I didn't know that. I guess the red mage dude can't pick up, or can't catch your Eye of the Beholster shots. That's good to know. Uh, where else are we going here? I guess it's just off of this room. We got two paths. Um, so probably not gonna find another shrine that could end up healing us. Probably not gonna find an NPC that could end up healing us. Uh, best shots at getting health right now, I guess, are just playing well and hoping for drops on the floor. And then finding our our shop. Boom! Wow, that was cool. Oh, here's a shop with just enough keys. Thank you. And we've got a cell creep in here, and a ton of armor. Um, so what do we want to get rid of, if anything? I guess just junk, but that's not gonna that's not really gonna do a whole lot for us. Uh, I think I'll just buy an armor and buy a... Oh, I don't have any any more money. I guess I'll just buy an armor. So I'm not one hit from death at all times. Okay. We got the map completed. Let's just go over here and talk to this guy. And then we'll go fight the boss. Okay. Gave us the heroin. Unfortunately, we're not going to use it for too long. 
And by that I mean at all. <clears throat> and uh hopefully this fight doesn't go too poorly. I I do have two blanks. Uh, so at least we got that. And Oh damn. I was gonna say, and our air support is on a pretty low cooldown thanks to all those cigarettes. I gotta blank that one too. Damn. Okay, so we're all out of blanks. And we're stuck with a pea shooter. God damn it, I think this is how we die. <laughs> okay. We no longer are stuck with a pea shooter. That makes me feel a little better. Uh, oh god. Okay, one hit away. Just need to not get hit like that. Alright. Well, <laughs> that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you like the video and want to see more of them, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to the channel. And you'll get notified every time I post a new video. I occasionally live stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash bigbadbardmedia. And if you follow that page, you'll get notified every time I go live there. If you want to get notified of my videos and my live stream, go ahead and follow me on Twitter at bigbadbardmedia, and you'll get notified of both. If you don't want to do any of that and just hang out for another episode, that's fine too, and I hope you have a great day.